Hello. <sighs> Happy Friday. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Michael Schuff. I'm gonna wait for some people to arrive here in a moment. Hello, everyone. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. This will be a lot of fun. Hope the link is working for everybody. I haven't tried around the world here in my new apartment. I just uh, recently moved to a new sp place here. I'm in Southern California. I'm originally from Highland Park, Illinois. Shout out to BBYO. Shout out to Kevin Freitas. Thank you for organizing all this today. Very excited to have you all. Thank you to CYJ Midwest. Thank you to Jewish Camp at Home. We're gonna get started here in just a bit. So as people are taking their seats and grabbing their yo-yo, hopefully you have a good yo-yo string. Sometimes your yo-yo will get tangled up like that. So we're going to talk a lot about yo-yoing, about yo-yo safety, about yo-yo strings. And uh, first, I'd like to just introduce myself. My name is Michael Schuff, live from Los Angeles, California. I'm originally born in Highland Park, Illinois, born in Chicago, raised in Highland Park. Shout out to Darlene and Howard if you're watching. Those are my parents and all my friends and family that could tune in. I hope you're all staying safe and washing your hands, staying clean, staying hydrated. Excuse me, I'm going to be drinking water periodically. My name is Michael Schuff. Would you like a glass of water? Anyhow, um, so I've been yo-yoing since I was 12 years old. And uh, I actually, that was one of my first jobs ever. I was a yo-yo demonstrator. Um, and it was um, in uh, North Court. And I was 12 years old and I was not old enough to be paid with cash. So they paid me with yo-yos. That started my yo-yo collection. I have close to um, 80 to 100 yo-yos. Uh, most of them are at my parents' home in Highland Park, Illinois. I have uh, three or four of them here in uh, California, so I'm excited to jump in and share you, uh, share with you my my tricks, uh, my talents, and some of the uh, maintenance and important tools to remember uh, when you're yo-yoing. So I hope you can hear me. Uh, it's my first time. Hope uh, if I can get a, a thumbs up or if someone could comment below if you can hear me. Is the volume okay? Sounds good. I know there's a little bit of a delay, so I appreciate your patience. Uh, this is our first time doing this, um, but I think uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm going to do a little bit. Thank you so much. Sounds great. Uh, I'm going to get real close to the camera, do some close-up photography here for you. If you have a yo-yo with you currently, um, you'll probably notice that it comes with a string. I also recommend uh, grabbing a pair of scissors. And the reason why is it's important to measure your string because when you're throwing a yo-yo, you wanna make sure that the yo-yo doesn't hit the ground, doesn't hit you in the face. Make sure that you're in a space that doesn't have any fragile furniture or tables. Uh, I've done it all. I've been hit in the head with my own yo-yo. I've um, accidentally hit my friend with a yo-yo. I've gotten uh, cuts on my hand. I've gotten little mini, mini injuries on your fingers. I wanna set you up for success. I don't want that to happen to you. So um, what I'm talking about is the length of the string. So let me demonstrate. You can see that the string here for me is uh, perfectly sized here. So you'll notice that at your waist, you wanna make sure that that's where the string hits. So for some of you, some of our young adults on our uh, call today, uh, you may have a string that's too long. So it's important to measure the string. And so feel free if you have the string on the yo-yo, I want you to 
make sure that you can kind of stand up real quick. And what you'll do is just pinch near the area where your waist meets, okay? And that's exactly where you'll measure the string perfectly to create your slip knot, okay? We're gonna talk about how to make a little bit of a loop and a slip knot. So the loop that we're talking about looks a little bit like this. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go through this carefully and slowly so that everyone can see. What we're trying to achieve is a slip knot. So that's when you create this loop that I'll show you in a moment. And then you're gonna string through any part of the yo-yo through the loop creating a slip knot. And so here is, uh, you can see I have a little bit of a yo-yo injury. I'm perfectly fine, but uh, it's uh, important to avoid these injuries and hitting yourself and stuff like that. I want you to have fun and I want you to be, uh, I want this to be stressless for you. So what we're trying to do is uh, find our middle finger and we wanna make sure that the string lives in between the first and second knuckle, right here in the middle. So that's exactly where that slip knot will go on. And then you can see you have a very comfortable, adjustable loop around the finger. That's so important. So I wanna show you that a couple more times, just before you even start playing with the yo-yo, just wanna make sure that you have the right idea. So again, you'll see the string, it may not even have a loop on it. So what you can do is create a little loop. You can uh, take a little bit of the string, wrap it around your index finger, and we're just gonna create a little mini knot. That's why it's important to have a scissors that's nearby. And you see, I created that knot, and that knot now gives us that perfect loop. And this is where you can now string the yo-yo through that loop and create your slip knot. That's gonna go on your finger here, just like that. Absolutely fantastic. And you'll see you'll have a little excess string right there. No problem. Grab your scissors, snip it off. Okay, not your finger, the string. Okay, be careful. And have fun and stay hydrated. And wash your hands. Okay. So now that we've talked about how to get the string on the yo-yo, I wanna show you um, exactly what that looks like. So I wanna talk about putting the string on the yo-yo. We've already created our slip knot. We have our loop. We uh, put the slip knot around our finger. You'll notice at the very bottom of the string, on the opposite end of the string, opposite of the loop that you just created, I want you to notice here that we can actually open up the string at the bottom. So you'll see that both strings create this little loop here at the bottom of the string. So again, we have the loop here that's gonna go on your finger, but at the bottom of the string here, this is exactly where you'll enter onto the gap of the yo-yo and boom, you're done. So you've measured the string at the waist, you have your scissors handy. You created the loop. We put the string through the loop to create the slip knot in between the first and second knuckle. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try and get to all of the comments. And again, shout out for all of you who are open-minded to yo-yoing because it's an amazing, fun thing to do. Instead of taking out your phone out of your pocket, grab your yo-yo. Just be present in this crazy world. So uh, beautiful. So now we should have a system that looks like this, right? We have our string, we have the loop at the bottom. Notice here we have that beautiful string on the yo-yo. So now I wanna talk about how do we wind up the yo-yo? because I want you to start doing some tricks, right? Let's have some fun here. So um, I want you to notice that I like to put my thumb over the gap of the yo-yo here, okay? Lots of different yo-yos out there, by the way. I personally love the Turbo Bumblebee by
by Playmax. Unfortunately, it no longer exists. It was bought out by Duncan. So shout out to all the yo-yo manufacturers out there, but this is the uh, yo-yo that I've been playing with uh, the longest since literally I was 12 years old. So um, I still have that uh, very dear and near to my heart. So it's important to learn how to wind up the yo-yo, but you'll notice that yo-yos will come in many different shapes and sizes. Traditionally, you have kind of an imperial design yo-yo. This is a very special vintage yo-yo. It's a Pez yo-yo, okay? Typically, yo-yos are shaped like this. But at the end of the day, uh, winding up will allow you to put the string on the yo-yo just like this. Excuse me, I'm multitasking and looking for this just like that, okay? So sometimes there was a question, a lot of yo-yos do come with the string already on the yo-yo, but sometimes uh, they do not. So I wanna make sure that I'm setting up for success for both cases here. So um, again, it's important to measure that string though, so that when you throw it down, you're not hitting the floor. So when it comes to winding up the yo-yo, you can do it in a few different ways. So I'm gonna stand back to show you some of those things. So first you'll notice that I can put my thumb over the yo-yo, over the gap, and what I'm gonna do is just create one loop. Creating one loop with the string, then I continue winding up, just like that. Okay? And then you should be able to have your yo-yo all the way wound up. So when you throw it down, holding on to the, the string there, if it stops sleeping, it's important to know how to wind it up. So I, t I create one little loop with my thumb, start winding it up. This is option one. Option two is when you have the yo-yo on your first and second knuckle, middle finger, on your, if you're right-handed, right hand, if you're left-handed, left hand. There is a kind of a roller coaster way of winding up the yo-yo, just like this. Look at what's happening here. I just wound up the yo-yo halfway, so that I can continue winding it up all the way, just like that, okay? So again, when I throw it down, Make sure that the yo-yo doesn't hit the ground, comes right back up. I know that I'm making it look terribly easy. I want you to um, not forget to breathe. Make sure to uh, have fun and to smile, okay? So um, those are, that's gonna be your, uh, your stepping stones to yo-yoing, okay? I want you to have fun and I want you to take your time and to smile. So um, don't forget to breathe. Now, when you throw down the yo-yo, should come right back up. Uh, but we're just doing the basics here today, so I wanna make sure that we know how to wind it up. So the thumb over the gap, wind it up. Winds up like that. We can do it halfway, option two. Wind it up the rest of the way. Or if you're really fancy, this is my favorite way of winding up the yo-yo, create a little bit of tension at the bottom of the yo-yo string, push forward, you can wind it up like that as well. A little advanced, I really recommend options one and two. Option three is uh, when you get really fancy and you can start uh, winding up and doing tricks quickly it takes a little bit of practice. Practice makes perfect, just like playing an instrument, right? Okay, so I um, <clears throat> wanna do a couple of tricks now and uh, get you comfortable with uh, sleeping the yo-yo, but also uh, rocking the baby, eating pizza, which is a new trick that I learned recently, eating spaghetti and around the corner, okay? So let's just start with sleeping the yo-yo. So if your yo-yo is successfully wound around the yo-yo, you've sized it, you've created the loop, the slip knot, you have it on your 
middle finger in between the first and second knuckle. Now you should be ready to go. So what you're going to do is make a fist, okay? You're going to turn that fist to the front. You're going to throw down the yo-yo, but slightly lift, almost elevate the hand very slightly. You're not going to do the tug to bring it back. We're going to try and learn how to sleep the yo-yo, okay? Just like that. You should have a spinning yo-yo, give it a little tug, comes right back. So I'm just lifting my hand a little higher so you can see uh, the yo-yo. But again, we're going to make a fist, turn that fist in front of you, throw it down, and you should see that yo-yo spin, give it a little tug, just like that. So again, there's many yo-yos out there. There's non-responsive yo-yos that are super fancy. We're not going to be using any of those today. Uh, there are some yo-yos that have a brain mechanism, a brain mechanism that automatically comes back. Uh, today I'm just using your traditional ball bearing system yo-yo. Um, I recommend if you are interested, if you don't have a yo-yo already, there's an amazing website, yoyotricks.com. I went there yesterday and there's a yo-yo on that site called the Fizz, F-R-I-Z-Z, -Z, the Fizz. And that is a fantastic beginner yo-yo. I got one myself because um, I want to increase my little mini collection that I have here in California. So uh, if you're looking for a yo-yo, I can uh, leave you the information later if you're interested. Again, any questions that you have, leave them in the comments. We'll leave a little time towards the end to answer them, okay? So again, we're just creating that fist, turning that fist in front of you, throwing down the yo-yo, sleeping it, okay? Sleeping the yo-yo. Once you get comfortable with sleeping the yo-yo, then we can start doing fun tricks like rock the baby, izzy dizzy baby, eating spaghetti, eating pizza, and another trick I'd like to show you today called around the corner, okay? So uh, we're gonna sleep the yo-yo and we're gonna create a slingshot, rock the baby. So you can see my uh, yo-yo kind of lost some speed there at the end. So to learn this trick the best, don't worry about spinning the yo-yo or sleeping it. I wanna talk about positioning your hand to create the cradle, to rock the baby, okay? This is probably the most classic trick. This is how I learned originally when I was a, a young teenager, and uh, it's a lot of fun. So what we're gonna do is with your hand, you can see right here, I'm creating this little uh, L shape right here, okay? I'm gonna reach behind my hand to create that slingshot. See how I'm grabbing the string, going beyond my yo-yo my throwing hand, grabbing the string, pulling it through. As I pull it through, again, my, my thumb is staying taut so that I can create that cradle. And with my left hand or your opposite hand, you can see how I'm using my pinky all the way through my index finger to create that cradle. And with my thumb, I am now rocking the baby. Just like that. Okay, it's a lot of fun. Uh, eventually, this is something that you might do with a small infant. Shout out to Jade, Emma, and Lucy. Those are Kevin Freitas' daughters my uh, goddaughters. Gotta rock the baby if they start crying, put them to sleep <laughs> by rocking them. So here we have rock the baby, okay? Now, uh, just for fun, there's a, a lot of different variations of that particular trick. So I wanna show you a few of those right now. I think that'll be fun. So we have rock the baby, izzy dizzy baby, izzy dizzy. We have Rock the baby away. We have baby face. <laughs> and then if the baby gets really bad, you can spank the baby. <laughs> okay, so uh, those are all of my rocking the baby tricks. Lots of fun, lots of laughs, okay? So again, um, rocking the baby, Izzy Dizzy Baby, you can rock the baby away, baby face, spank the baby. It's kind of a fun 
little uh, collection of different tricks. Lots of fun. So um, again, if you have any questions, you can um, leave those questions and comments below. Okay. Terrific. So we've talked about string management. We've talked about some different style yo-yos. We've talked about yo-yo safety. I know that it's hard to, in this particular climate, to go outside. But if you have a big backyard, you can isolate yourself. You can use social distancing. I promise this is such a fun activity to do outside. Uh, imagine going for a walk, bring your yo-yo. You're going to do some gardening. Want to take a break? Grab your yo-yo. If you're doing some cooking, bring your yo-yo into the kitchen. So much fun. Try videotaping yourself. Uh, it's actually helpful even for me. Uh, I'm human, I make mistakes. But if you're working on a particular trick, maybe easier for you to uh, visualize yourself on video, okay? Uh, this is a great way to help with learning. So as so many of your counselors and teachers and parents, they're out there, they're trying to find different strategies on teaching, uh, using visual aid is certainly a favorite of mine. So let's continue. So we have um, rocking the baby, right? And I showed you a bunch of different variations. Just a quick review. You're creating that L shape. Don't worry about if the yo-yo is spinning or not, if it stops spinning. You're creating this little kind of shape with your hand on the yo-yo hand. You're grabbing with your other hand through to grab that string. You do kind of like a small little twist, 180 degrees, pull it down, create that little cradle, just like that. So this is a great thing to practice. Don't get frustrated. Take your time. Don't forget to breathe. Stay hydrated. Wash your hands. Can't say it enough, okay? So um, we talked about a few different ways, options one through three, on winding the yo-yo. Make sure that that yo-yo string is sized at waist level from the ground. I would now like to enter our food tricks because I'm getting hungry, <laughs> okay? So I've learned a new trick. It's very similar to rock the baby. And what you'll notice is um, it's almost identical, but we're creating an illusion of a slice of pizza, okay? So what you're gonna do and again, don't worry about spinning the yo-yo. I just want to show you the kind of visual aid portion of the trick to do this picture trick, if you will. So we're going to create that uh, cradle shape with our hand. We're going to grab through. And instead of dropping it down and creating this little rocking mechanism, if you already have the cradle down, this will be super easy. We're creating a little pizza slice right here. So if you can see the string, it's kind of rectangular shape, but some... Pizza slices come in a rectangular shape, a square or a slice. So um, there's a new trick again. So um, you can actually just create a little pinch with your thumb and your index finger. And you can even create, as you can see right here, a little V. And so for eating pizza, we're just gonna let the gravity of the yo-yo slip down as we're eating the pizza. Okay, so let's tr let me show you that again. So we have that little pinch. Eating pizza, okay? <laughs> that may be a uh, brand new trick. If you've seen me do uh, yo-yo tricks before, you might have never seen it. I think it's really funny. Um, so again, we're creating kind of that cradle style. I'm just all the way to my hand, making these little chomping actions towards my hand all the way to the hand as the slice of pizza is getting smaller that's the illusion that we're creating here okay so let me show you that again live with the spinning yo-yo and then you give it a little tug at the bottom okay it's really fun so another one classic favorite trick probably ever, especially uh, I, I add uh, a little flavor of my own, if you will, is eating spaghetti. Super simple. 
Sleep the yo-yo, and again, as we're just practicing, just let it kind of dangle there. What we're gonna do is kind of create this little pinching effect as we're raising the string carefully towards the face. Be careful. We're creating spaghetti, okay? This is called eating spaghetti. So I'm going to kind of bunch the string up just like this. Grab my salt, a little bit of pepper, eating spaghetti, okay? Let's see it with the string and the yo-yo spinning. Here we go. Eating spaghetti. One more time. Grab your salt and pepper. Eating spaghetti, okay? Lots of fun. So we got uh, rocking the baby, we have eating pizza, eating spaghetti. I'm pretty full now. So uh, now another favorite of mine, uh, around the corner. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna throw down, spin the yo-yo, bring my arm through, create a little cradling action, flip up my shoulder, grab the yo-yo. Let me show you that on the side view. A little bit more advanced, but if you feel like you're ready for it, these are a per perfect uh, progression chapters in my little yo-yo book that I'm creating on the spot for you. Rock the Baby, Chapter 1, Eating Pizza, Eating Spaghetti, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Around the Corner. Sound doable? I know it is. We've got a lot of time to practice, people. It's a lot of fun. So again, all I'm doing, sleeping the yo-yo, I'm bringing my elbow around, then tugging up. The yo-yo goes up and over my shoulder, drops down, I give a little tug to bring it back. Around the corner. So it's almost, it's actually a great little stretch for your arm. Make sure that your quadratus lumborum is engaged, your rectus abdominis. Breathe, stay hydrated, smile. Let's go around the corner, just like that. Hopefully people are going around the corner and supporting their local businesses, going for a walk, maintaining social distancing, okay? Very cool. So um, I'm going to look at a couple comments here, and I just want to make sure that I can answer some questions. <laughs> Thank you again, everybody, for chiming in. Jonathan, Eric, Kevin, Stacy. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for being here. Carter, how you doing? Hey, Eliza, how are you? <laughs> Thank you for being here. And uh, my parents, I love it. And then Shabak. Shabak AZA, I was an advisor for BBYO for six years. Shout out to them. I was bar mitzvah in uh, Israel. Lots of thanks to my parents. And uh, funny story. So uh, I have a cousin, Sheila, who plays for the Boston Symphony Orchestra. And one summer, my parents went to Tanglewood. And uh, they met Yo-Yo Ma. Sheila and Yo-Yo actually went to school together. And my parents were invited to Tanglewood. That is the summer home of the Boston Symphony Orchestra. And um, as my dad was being introduced to Yo-Yo Ma, my, my dad explained to him, before my mom could even come along, come over, uh, my dad said, uh, you know, Yo-Yo, my son Michael is a virtuoso on the Yo-Yo. <laughs> and uh, so I'd like to introduce you, Yo-Yo, to Yo-Yo's Ma, and signaled to my mom. So, Dad, I hope I justified and uh, was correct in that retelling of that funny story. But um, my mom is, is known as Yo-Yo Ma. So, funny story. Anyhow, that's the abbreviated version of it. Let's get back to yo-yoing. So, um, earlier we were talking about different shapes of yo-yos, right? So, I think it's important to know that you have lots of different shapes. I showed you that imperial shape before. This one here is a butterfly shape. Uh, the reason why butterfly shape yo-yos are important is for string tricks. So uh, I'd like to show you a couple more of my tricks and then I'm gonna uh, transition into a little routine as well, okay? And I hope you enjoy it. So here we go. Man on the flying trapeze. 
Again, if your finger gets snagged like this, perfectly fine. Just make sure that you didn't hurt yourself. Be careful. Uh, but again, if the yo-yo stops spinning, perfectly cool. We're just learning. Don't get frustrated. Just wind it back up again. All good. And remember, those other uh, ways of winding up, put your thumb over the gap of the string. Start winding, just creating that single loop. Continue winding, that loop will just go right into the gap of the yo-yo. Continue winding, and then your yo-yo your yo -yo is wound up again. Throw it down, and it's sleeping. So um, the reason why I showed you that butterfly shape is that they're really great for string tricks, and one in particular is the man on the flying trapeze. So earlier when I showed you how to sleep the yo-yo, typically um, it kind of goes to the right side of your body. Um, I recommend that if you're left-handed, it would go on the left side. If you're right-handed, allow it to go on to the right side of your body. So when I am creating that fist, you're already there. You're just going to throw the yo-yo sideways and the yo-yo will come from right to left. You then take your index finger, hold it right there out in front of you. String goes around, yo-yo goes up and over your index finger, lands on the string. I know it sounds easy, but um, practice makes perfect. So I'm creating that little trapeze with my finger, flip it over onto the thumb, catch the yo-yo. Sometimes I don't catch it, that's okay. Try again. So we're gonna throw that yo-yo uh, on the side of us with your middle finger or index finger, flip it up and over the middle finger onto the index finger or the index finger onto the thumb creating that little trapeze guy, uh, the yo-yo, can start dancing, do a sweet little jump, grab the yo-yo, just like that. Now, I'd like to demonstrate double or nothing, okay? So you can see my yo-yo stops spinning, perfectly fine, but this is the positioning for double or nothing. I'm using both of my index fingers and my thumb. I'm creating kind of a wild looking trapeze. And so you can see that the string went over both of my fingers on each hand, creating a double or nothing uh, moment. And now my yo-yo is a circus performer. Let's try that again. So double or nothing, catching the yo-yo, <laughs> just like that. Lots of fun. Don't forget to laugh at yourself, have fun, all right? Man on the flying trapeze. Double or nothing. Again, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. It's uh, been a, a big pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity. Big shout out to CYJ. I want to thank my sponsors, CYJ Midwest and all of our visual partners out there, if you're watching, Jewish Camp at Home, Havarim Online, and BBYO On Demand. Look at that. Getting a great workout today. I'm gonna to close all my rings. Absolutely. <laughs> so um, I'd love to open it up for any questions. If you, uh, I know that some of you are working from home, so I appreciate the short amount of time that you gave us today to check out some of the tricks. <laughs> And um, I'd love to answer any questions if you have them. And throughout the day, if I can't answer them uh, right away, then um, we can get to those answers later. All right. So again, uh, shout out to my family and friends that are watching. Uh, shout out to Kevin Freitas. Thank you for setting this up today. Uh, it's been a blast. And um, this has been a really fun activity because... Sometimes we run out of things to do. So again, if you're hanging out with your family, um, be careful, be safe. <laughs> but instead of grabbing your phone, grab a yo-yo. Start playing with it. Practice those tricks. Uh, hopefully you can take this video and, uh, and learn and continue learning, okay? So um, lots of love, lots of thanks. Shabbat shalom. See you later.